Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Auntie of police who passed away with cult pastor breaks silence. Footer Hype had this to say about the cult pastor saga. Cult pastor's lawyer speaks out. Pathways member charged with murder. Stay tuned for the stories in detail. And remember to follow me on Instagram at Malta underscore Massey. <laughs> Oh my teacher, Kiss last on the rifle thrown in Zion. Please break these chains from around us, mighty Art father. And set us free. Natishan alongside Sisla Kalonji. Break these chains. That was Natishan featuring Sisla. Break these chains. It's a brand new song, Massive. So to pre-order, please click the link in the description box below. Check him out on Instagram at Natishan Music. Attorney at Law Valerie Nita Robertson is speaking out against the treatment of controversial pastor Kevin O. Smith and congregants at his Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries in Paradise, Montego Bay, St. James. Nita Robertson, who was retained by Smith, says she had restrained herself from making comments on the matter, but the escalation of the situation requires her to speak. The attorney in a statement charged that the labeling of the church as a cult is deliberate and unfortunate calling the move an attack on ordinary decent Jamaicans and their faith. She said, and I quote, This is a threat against churches. It is reminiscent of the ancient days in which the church was persecuted. Further, this frenzy which is driving members of the church to be ostracized and their constitutional rights breached is dangerous, not only to them but to all Jamaicans and besmirches the good name of our country as it has gone viral she added nita robertson argued that the social media and mainstream media frenzy that has emanated from the incident at the pathways international has risen to a pitch resulting in members of the church being ostracized and put in fear she argued that persons must operate with caution noting that a recent frenzy led to the death of an innocent man in saint thomas Massive on the ear that that's what his attorney had to say. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, Massive, here's an update about the ongoing case with the Pathways International Church. Pathways member charged with murder wounding. Andre Ruddock, a member of the Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries in Montego Bay, has been charged with one count of murder and one count of wounding with intent, the constabulary force reports. He is to appear in court this week. I want to say condolences to the friends and family of Constable Orlando Irons. He was one of the police officers that was escorting Kevin Smith to his destination. This is what the JCF posted. The JCF is saddened by the death of Constable Orlando Irons, 26, in a service vehicle accident today in St. Catherine. Constable Irons was assigned to the Fugitive Apprehension Team in St. James. The JCF Chaplaincy Services Branch Medical services branch and the welfare department are providing support to the family and colleagues of constable irons we continue to pray and provide support to the other officers who were hospitalized following the crash here's a video of his aunt reacting to his passing check it out um you know i had to look at him i mean i stopped by my sister was my because it's just two of us that are here in jamaica all the rest are sisters and my brother who is his father is overseas and I said to my brother, I'm going over Spanish one, and I went in there a while ago, and I looked at him, and I closed his eyes, and he opened back his eyes, and I closed it again, and I said, Lando, close your eyes. But I figured I want to see him father, so I guess him coming on the next plane tomorrow, but he opened back his eyes, so I'm not sure. I know he's with his grandmother, who is, they're very close, which is what my mother. So he, I know he's going to be with her right now. I'm actually going to send him to the same more, um, funeral home that did her thing. So I don't know. I know it's not the same, but I'm hoping that they find each other. It's that I'm trying to find comfort in myself that they'll find each other and be comfortable. But they're very close. They were very, very close before she died. Very, very close. 
they said Lando was a good person. He was a great person. Like the, the, I mean, him, everybody have them issues, but you don't know his issues because he's such a great person. Everybody gets along well with him in the community. Massive Futter Hype went on his YouTube channel today to weigh in on this saga. I'm just gonna play a portion of it here, but feel free to go on over to his YouTube channel to check out the full video. Here goes. So, on one reason about this morning now. <laughs> on one talk about this morning. Okay, let's reason about this morning. A lot of questions have been raised about this morning. One of the main questions I raised about this morning is um, why was he coming to Kingston when the crime occurred in Montego Bay? On more than one occasion, multiple times, cases have been transferred from rural Jamaica to the High Court, Circuit Court in Kingston. Um, it's not unusual for cases to be transferred. So that question is easily answered. It, that's normality for cases to be transferred from rural Jamaica to the High Court um, Circuit Court in Kingston. What is not the norm is for the type of care where this man did in her. You understand? They usually use IS bus or them use the jail truck, the big jail truck, where every man locking at their own compartment. Zin. So you can't you hardly can't move in that. When you know that you can't even move. You can't even turn good. You're uncomfortable. Now the care in question today is not the norm. That's a red flag. See? Next red flag is we're speaking about Jamaica. This happened on the Bagua main road, right? You're going to tell me, Futa Hype, O'Neill Thomas, somebody with a brain, somebody who has experience of the Jamaican roadway, because enough people never got Jamaica yet, so they don't know. You are in an accident. Miss Lindsay said in her speech a while ago, just watching the news, that there were nine police officers in the convoy, three of which were in the car with him. Now, Miss Lindsay, I find that hard to believe. I'm not saying you're lying, but I find that hard to believe because the Jamaica that I know on the piece of roadway that we are speaking of is not an empty road at nine something in the morning is not an empty road so if there's a police convoy if there are nine police three is in the car with the prisoner that means six other police officers are in other vehicle i am calculating that there's one vehicle in front of the the subject vehicle and there's one behind the subject vehicle now if the subject vehicle which is in the middle meets into difficulty and overturns as you people are saying that's big excitement now it's almost critical that if the subject vehicle suddenly overturns then the vehicle in question behind the subject vehicle is going to have difficulty not running into that vehicle and not running into another vehicle or meeting an accident as well. So, that would spark some attention. Boom, the car they turn over. The car behind it have to swing or go some other way to escape other accident. Then, because it's a detail, it's a convoy, the car in front, I figure end up stop by them here that big crash there. Then police, they have to run out to come secure the prisoner. The car behind, as soon as it gained control, those officers would also have to step out, deploy out of the car, to secure the injured officers plus the main subject, which is the criminal. Now, 
the Jamaica that I know, everybody have a phone. Phone vehicle them, and the hunger vehicle them, they pan bagwalk bypass at 9 a.m. in the morning. Today is Monday. To the name Monday. Oh, Miss Lindsay explained to me. Oh, there is no pictures, no video, no evidence circulating nowhere on social media of the officers. There's only video and pictures circulating of them taking out Mr. Smith out of the car so where did the accident happen nobody saw this nobody else in the line of traffic or driving on the roadway did not see this big accident that was so crazy that it caused two lives and injured two more so you are telling me that at nine something in the morning the only vehicles within a 20 minute radius because it would have to take 20 to 30 minutes for nobody to see this accident at all any at all if you, if you take up them phone because by the car crash and the police them are deploy people phone out already so would i see the next six police when the claim said they there uh, 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 make sure say who not dead and a jag who out of car and you tell me say nobody never try to take out nobody out of the car till the ambulance reach so this brother run at the back of the car crush up crumble up until ambulance reach and nobody took out the phone i said jesus um, what's your pastor come we help him and somebody tell me not help him he might wicked him for none of that but every other accident we see people reach from the scene before ambulance Every other accident we see, people are catch video before even police reach. So when the six police go to secure the prisoner, everything, cause them no crash, not no do them. Them have to go to the car we crash, you know, them have to. So nobody no catch no video at them. I got the car to make sure, say, who are right and who not all right. So that's it for today, Massive Mountain. I beg upon a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the Massive. I'm out of Massey. Magan. Mount of Massey. Mount of Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe now. now. now.